Hello, good people. Uh, we have come to the last segment of our lecture series where we are looking at uh, expected value. All right, expected value. And this takes into consideration the influence or the impact of risk and uncertainty, uh, where we are saying that we are faced with two things. All right. As a financial manager, we are faced uh, uh, with two things. There is risk, there is uncertainty. Okay? Risk is based on the principle that uh, from previous history or from past experience, we are quite sure, okay? Although not certain, but we are sure that uh, there is a certain probability that something might occur. So, uh, known risk is known from past history or past experience that is from history. Okay, and then this one is unknown, right? Uncertainty. There, there is no knowledge that we are going to face something. All right. So we are not quite sure what is going to happen. All right. But although we are not certain, but we know from past history that something could okay. That's risk. Okay. There is a chance that something might happen. Something good or bad might happen. All right. So. The expected value takes into consideration those probabilities to inform managers of the present. Now, there is this example on, on a company called Doge X. Doge X Limited is considering launching a new product. This will require additional capital investment of $200,000. The selling price of uh, the product will be $10 per unit. Dogex has a, is ascertained that the probability of a demand of 500,000 units per annum is 0 0.5. With a probability of 0 0.4 that it will be 20% higher. That the demand will be 20% higher and a 10% chance or 10% I mean 0 0.1 probability that it will be 20% uh, lower. Uh, the company expects to earn a contribution of 50% and expects its overhead to increase by 140,000 per year. The term horizon for appraisal is four years. The machine will be sold at the end of four years for $50,000. Uh, the cost of capital is 20% per annum. Calculate the expected NPV of the project. Then, assuming that the demand is certain at 50 thousand units per annum that is the NPV of the project if fixed overheads are certain as follows I mean what is the NPV of the project if fixed overheads are uncertain as follows all right so initially what was uncertain was the demand but in this case the fixed costs are now uncertain okay and we have to work out the fixed costs depending on the probabilities that are going to accrue. So um, let's determine part A. First of all, let's determine the expected demand. Okay, part A, expected uh, demand is the expected value of the demand. However, in this case, we just want to determine the quantities. All right. So expected demands in quantities, this is based on the probabilities. Okay, there is uh, a 50% chance. There is a 0 0.5. Okay. Probability that the demand is going to be 50,000. So we're going to say um, 50,000 multiply by 0 0.5 plus um, forty percent uh, 
probability that it will be 20% higher. 20% higher simply means that the demand will be 50,000 multiplied by 1.20. And this gives us 60,000. Then if it is going to be 20% lower, this simply means that 50,000 multiplied by 0 0.8. And this gives us 40,000. So we come here and say, if it is going to be 20% higher, it becomes 60,000, but there's a probability of 0 0.4, okay, or 40% probability. And plus uh, 40,000 with a probability of 0 0.1, all right? So all this gives us a total of uh, 53,000 units. Okay. Then, uh, what about the expected contribution? Okay, the selling price of the product is going to be ten dollars per unit, and um, the company expects to earn a contribution of fifty percent and expects fixed overheads to increase by hundred forty. So, the contribution is going to be fifty percent of our selling price. Then, so contribution expected. going to be uh, the selling price is ten dollars per unit remember and that's fifty thousand multiplied by uh, ten dollars per unit multiplied by 0 0.5 and this is going to be um, two hundred and sixty five thousand per annum okay so with this, we can now safely do our uh, NPV table where we start with the year cash flow and the discount factor at what is the cost of capital? We are told that the cost of capital is 20% per annum. So that's 20% per annum. Uh, I mean, at uh, 20%. Then the PV. All right. So this is our table, ladies and gentlemen. Let us squeeze things here. So year zero, we are going to have initial investment of two hundred thousand. Okay, and obviously this is going to come as it is. Then year one to year four, we are having an annuity, and we are going to get this annuity, uh, the contribution that is two six five every year, two hundred sixty five thousand every year which is positive and the annuity factor uh, at 20 percent uh, for years that's two five eight nine and this becomes six eight six zero eight five six eight six zero eight five then uh, we are also going to incur additional fixed costs and these fixed costs are going to be hundred forty thousand per annum so we are going to use the same annuity factor there and they become three six two four six zero then uh, there is a scrap value of fifty thousand okay there is a scrap value of fifty thousand which we have to grapple with so that's zero point for a two from our PV tables and this comes to 24,100 so let us add up and we get our expected net present value so the expected and PV is going to be one four seven seven two five which is positive okay that's positive and then let's move on to um, part B and see if we can make sense part B saying assuming that the demand is certain at 50,000 units per annum what is the NPV of the project if fixed overheads are uncertain as follows so the fixed overheads are uncertain 
So using this information, we can determine that the fixed costs are going to be this one, okay? Plus this one multiplied by this one, plus this one multiplied by that one, plus this one multiplied by that one, and we are going to have, sorry, I already did the drawing. Um, they all come up to um, a figure uh, which is going to be 158,000 per annum. Okay, so we are going to use this figure as the figure for our fixed cost. All right, and then what to what is going to happen to our contribution? Okay, initially our contribution was based on um, on this computation. Okay, initially our contribution was based on the uh, contribution. I'm sorry, the which which sub is supposed to be 53 was based on this okay so it was it was based on the expected demand there all right the expected demand we had determined to be 53000 so initially the our contribution was based on this figure but now it is going to be based on 50000 because demand is certain this time so as demand is certain as demand okay all right as demand is certain at 50000 units therefore expected contribution is equal to 50000 multiplied by 10 dollars per unit apply by 0 0.5 and we are going to have <coughs> the contribution of uh, 250 thousand let me try to verify um, uh, 50,000 multiply by 10 multiply by 0 0.5 yes 250 so the figure for our expected fixed cost is this one all right we determine that please just replay the videos uh, to whatever part you need to understand more so then we then have to come up with our NPV table cash flows discount factor at 20% and the PV okay yeah, zero. That's two hundred thousand initial investment. This comes as it is. Then year one to four. That's the contribution of two fifty thousand. All right, the contribution, and we are using the annuity factor. Two years. I mean, four years at twenty percent. All right. Then one to four for fixed costs. We determine them as 158,000. All right, 2589. And then the scrap value in year four, and this was 50,000. All right, and we are going to use this red um, for 20%, 0 0.48 cents. All right, so if we do our multiplication, 250,000 applied by 2.589. A six four seven two fifty, and then uh, one hundred fifty eight thousand multiplied by two five eight nine. That's four zero nine zero six two. Then fifty thousand multiplied by zero point four eight two. That's twenty four thousand one hundred. Remember, this one is negative. Obviously, we get our expected. And PV of uh, 62,000 
0.2288. Okay, so basically that's the NPV uh, issue we needed to understand. All right, so we are done with uh, the topic and um, normally we need to appreciate that the discount rate which we have been using so far uh, has been um, given by the examiner and uh, quite often we will be required to adjust this discount rate uh, in line with the conditions associated with whatever project we want to undertake. All right, so um, we need to to touch on those areas in our future topics or in our future uh, studies in the same course and in um, exams that are going to come after this course. So uh, that's a meal for another day. Okay, the risk adjusted discount rate is a meal for another day. We just have to stop it at this juncture. All right, so. I would want you guys to just watch a video uh, where I'll be going through a past exam question uh, called uh, Vixen, which is from the March June 2017 paper. All right. So until next time, may you please continue uh, to subscribe, to like, to share the videos, and also to feel very excited because if you do not cheer yourself up, nobody is going to come and cheer you up. So you just have to trust in yourself, to believe in yourself, and to concentrate on your studies. Until next time, once again, may the good Lord continue to bless you. Thank you.